being followed by What Are You Doing To Me on the outside of Rafino, Ningbo Express on the inside. Racing out of the climb towards the two furlong point and Plint followed now by Ningbo Express in second. And then a couple of lengths further back to Rafino and What Are You Doing To Me as they race now towards the home turn. Plint in the lead from Ningbo Express as they race now to the bend where they'll swing for the final flight. And it's Plint and Robbie Power with Ningbo Express now throwing down a challenge on the outside of the long odds on favourite. Plint got away from it in front. Ningbo Express still challenging on the outside and running up towards the finish. Plint and Robbie Power go on to score by two lengths. The long odds on favourite wins. Follows up his good run at Punchestown. Throwing down a challenge on the outside of the long odds on favourite. Plint got away from it in front. Ningbo Express still challenging on the outside and running up towards the finish. Plint and Robbie Power go on to score by two lengths. The long odds on favourite wins. Follows up his good run at Punchestown and scores from Ningbo Express second. Well clear of Rafino. Result of the first race, the McHale Fusion 3 hurdle. 1, 5, 3. Number 4 was 4th and number 2 was 5th. Followed by Benelex Park and these five are clear of Siobhan's Bell and they're being followed by Hilden. They're continuing now on down to swing and race across towards the home turn and on the inside row your own boat with Benelex Park coming there on the outside. Lost broke right on their heels. They're being followed by Siobhan's Bell who's boxing on again just in behind them. Racing now for the home turn. Benelex Park with Lost Brook coming there the near side. Coming now towards the final flight and Lost Brook over in the lead from Benelex Park and Siobhan's Bell and on the run up towards the finish it's Lostbrook now stretching on three to four lengths clear and up towards the finish Lostbrook and Robbie Colgan will win Siobhan's Bell comes through for second Benelex Park third coming now towards the final flight and Lostbrook over in the lead from Benelex Park and Siobhan's Bell and on the run up towards the finish it's Lostbrook now stretching on three to four lengths clear and up towards the finish Lostbrook and Robbie Colgan will win Siobhan's Bell comes Comes through for second. Benelex Park third and Abu Nayef will take fourth. Result of the second race, the McHale F 5500 Baylor Handicap Hurdle. 6 15 4. Number 3 was 4th and number 11 was 5th. Run to the final 100 yards. King Leon from Keppel's Queen and most peculiar and running up towards the finish. King Leon all out will score for Robbie Power. A double for both him and Aidan O'Brien. Second home Keppel's Queen. Most peculiar is third. Result of the third race the McHale Fusion Vario Maiden Hurdle. 6 12, 2. Number 9 was 4th and number 7 was 5th. A good run to the final flight and Kilkerry Bridge has been in front from the start. Leads three parts of a length to Pyrus Goldwyn 2nd, Go Paddy Go and Mrs McVeal. On the run now for the home turn, one flight left to jump in the McHale Corana handicap and the leader is Kilkerry Bridge and Ryan Tracy. Pyrus Goldwyn in 2nd, Paul Carberry. Mrs McVeal is staying on for Adam O'Neill on the inside. The final flight and Kilkerry Bridge over in front chased now by Mrs McVeal on the near side putting in a strong run Kilkerry Bridge in front Mrs McVeal in second as they run to the finish Kilkerry Bridge will make all the win for Ryan Tracy second home Mrs McVeal go Paddy go third the final flight and Kilkerry Bridge over in front chased now by Mrs McVeal on the near side putting in a strong run Kilkerry Bridge in front Mrs McVeal in second as they run to the finish Kilkerry Bridge will make all the win for Ryan Tracy. Second home, Mrs. McVeal. Go, Paddy, go. Third. It's a result of the fourth race, the McHale Corana Handicap Hurdle. 10, 12, 11, 6 from 1. So tonight's obviously a big race day and part of your two day fixture. Tell us a little bit how it came about. Well, last year, you know, we decided we'd wanted to increase the or improve the type of racing we have here at Ballon Rope. So we looked for a big sponsor, which we got, and um, we talked to Horse Racing Ireland. They came on board with us, and that's how, how tonight came about. Excellent, and obviously you have two feature races this evening, both worth 30,000 euros. Significant investment in these races. Look, at, we, we're really, really delighted with these two thirty euro two thirty thousand euro races as you said um, we approached Michael's last November uh, they were delighted to come on board we were delighted to have them as I said um, some time ago at our launch they're our friends and neighbors and they're a huge um, international success as a company and to have them on board here in Ballinrobe is absolutely brilliant uh, but 
you know, just to, to, to run the, 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 these two races here tonight and to start out on our new track, we're really delighted with tonight. Break of three lengths to Romanescu and Came Hill and they're cleared of Muzak as they come now to swing and race to the final quarter of a mile. Two to jump. Sammy Black, been in front from the very start, is still there in the lead for Danny Mullins. Love Rory Shamaran, Came Hill and trying to improve Count Salazar. Over the second last now, Sammy Black leads on the run to the last. Out in front, of its second, Shamaran and Love Rory third. And over the final fence in the McHale Mayo National, it looks all the way for Sammy Black and Danny Mullins. Still staying on strongly and four to five clear. Up to the finish, Sammy Black makes all the win for Barry Connell. Tony Mullins and Danny Mullins. Shamaran is second, Love Rory third. And over the second last now, Sammy Black leads on the run to the last. Out in front, Ovid second, Shamaran and Love Rory third. And over the final fence in the McHale Mayo National, it looks all the way for Sammy Black and Danny Mullins. Still staying on strongly and four to five clear. Up to the finish, Sammy Black makes all the win for Barry Connell. Tony Mullins and Danny Mullins, Shamaran is second, Love Rory third and Count Salazar fourth. Result of the fifth race, the McHale Mayo National Handicap Steeplechase. 12, 13, 17. Number two was fourth and number eight was fifth. Imperial Joey with Lethal Weapon improving on the inside. Lady Alwyn's on the outer. Now they begin the run for the final fence. Lethal Weapon and on the near side. Lady Alwyn at the final fence. Lethal Weapon and Lady Alwyn. Lady Alwyn is gone. And that leaves Lethal Weapon in front as they race now towards the final 200 yards. It's Lethal Weapon in the colours of the sponsor. Will score for Jody McGarvey as Lethal Weapon for J.P. McManus wins in second place is Doc Hollywood. Lethal Weapon and Lady Alwyn. Lady Alwyn is gone and that leaves Lethal Weapon in front as they race now towards the final 200 yards. It's Lethal Weapon in the colours of the sponsor will score for Jody McGarvey as Lethal Weapon for J.P. McManus wins. In second place is Doc Hollywood and they're followed in Imperial Joey. Co Result of the sixth race, the Martinstown Opportunity Handicap Steeplechase. Four, six, seven. Number one was fourth, and number eight was fifth. Two furlongs, two to jump, and the leader is Smokey Jojo from Arzenboy Premier. Break of a few lengths to Limpopo Tom as they come now towards the second last. And Smokey Jojo going to land just in the lead from Arzenboy Premier as they head down towards the final fence. Smokey Jojo in front. Arzenboy Premier are towards the outside and over the last. It's Smokey Jojo, the leader from Arzenboy Premier with Limpopo Tom in third inside the last 150 yards. And Arzenboy Premier now quickens up for Barry Garrity and gets up to win it close home. Arzenboy Premier beats Smokey Jojo. And Smokey Jojo going to land just in the lead from Arzenboy Premier as they head down towards the final fence. Smokey Jojo in front. Arzenboy Premier are towards the outside and over the last. It's Smokey Jojo, the leader from Arzenboy Premier with Limpopo Tom in third inside the last 150 yards. And Arzenboy Premier now quickens up for Barry Garrity and gets up to win it close home. Arzenboy Premier beats Smokey Jojo, Limpopo Tom is third. Result of the seventh race, the McHale Bale Rappers Beginner Steeplechase. 13, 8, 6. Number 10 was fourth and number 2 was fifth. Thank you.